high would you take him? That would depend on, Skip, if I'm a general manager early in my career or late. Okay. Am I on firm ground or am I on shaky ground? Because if I'm on shaky ground, I can't do it, Skip. The, the risk is too great because we haven't seen anything like this. There has to be a limit in which a guy can't play that position, no matter how well he throws the football. Height. Height-wise. Height height mm-hmm. Now, they say he's going to come in somewhere 5'9 and a half, maybe 5'10". And that may be generous. Maybe generous. Yeah. Okay. So if, if you're just going to go back, say, the last 20 years, mm-hmm. we're going to look at Drew Brees, Russell Wilson, Baker Mayfield. Okay. Drew Brees, a three-year starter. Russell Wilson, a four-year starter. Baker Mayfield, a three-and-a-half-year starter. In, in college. In, in college. college. Kyler mm-hmm. Murray, a 17-game starter. Mm-hmm. So we saw a large body of work to says, okay, three full seasons, four full seasons, three-and-a-half seasons. We saw these guys do it over an extended period of time. Because, Skip, that's what we always, you know, a lot, a big drawback is, is that when we see these guys burst on the scene and then they get to the league, you take them high, Mm -hmm. and you're like, well, what happened? Well, there was not a large enough sample size for you to do all your research. Second of all, they said now he's up to 206 pounds. Do you believe he's going to be just as explosive, gaining 15 pounds? Now... Now, you're talking about a guy. Now, I came into the league. I weighed 223, left the league weighing about 223. But, but, Skip, when you put on that kind of weight, that and, and people are like, well, 15 pounds, he, uh, the season's been over since when? January, I think, last yeah. year, January. I, I don't think anybody's suggesting he put on 15, that he just weighs that. No, 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 he weight. Weight. no. What, what, hold on. If that was his natural weight, why was Oklahoma listing him at 195? Yeah. And normally when they list you at something, they list you five to ten pounds heavier and a couple of inches taller. So if they listed him at 195, he might have been 185. Maybe he asked them to, to go lower. Why? Just to um, to send a message that he's a little guy because he doesn't play he little. He's a little. Yeah. What you mean? Don't you see no message? All you got to do is look at him. <laughs> mm. I saw him in Atlanta. He little. He is, he, has, he is as advertised. He, He's he, a he smallish like a, man. He looked like a 200-pounder to me when he played. He, he runs with stature. Well, he might be, yeah. he might be the C.J. Yeah. Anderson, the quarterback. Mm. Mm. You think that might be the case, Skip? I do not. 15 pounds, Skip? You don't think 15 pounds in a month and a half is a lot of I don't weight. think he gained an ounce in the last month and a half. I just think that's his, that's his natural But then weight. why would Peter King say that he's up to 206? I don't, I don't think he said he's up to. It just he weighs 206. He can't get fat. So somebody lying. Huh? False advertising. Well, okay, that's how, how many college weights in the program? I don't know about are I, I'm talking about him. None. We ain't talking about him. None. We ain't talking about them. We're talking yeah. about him. Okay, back to your original question. Skip, I'm not so sure. Now, if I have a first round pick and it's in the later, I might be willing, to, but I, okay. I can't. I cannot at first top five, top ten pick. I can't do it, Skip. Unless now if you coach Belichick, you have at it. If you one of these guys that's on firm footing. Have at it. But, Skip, if you shaky, you can't risk You can't risk this. Hmm. Okay. So, I am here to say that every team that passes on Kyler Murray from 1 until 13, where he is right now projected in most mock drafts to go to Miami, every team above that needs a quarterback that passes on Kyler Murray will live to regret it. And I'm here to say that if I'm Arizona – I just close my eyes and take him with the first overall pick. Okay, before you say that now, in order for them to live to regret it, he has to win a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Other than that, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. So I you think say- he can win a Super Bowl. Absolutely, I think he can win a Super Bowl. And by the way, just for the record, obviously I grew up lifelong University of Oklahoma fan. And just for those who might say, oh, you're overreacting because I said Baker should go number one last year, yes. and I think I was proven right about that. I said there's no way I would touch Sam Bradford, especially with the first overall pick. I never liked him. Mm -hmm. I said he would be perpetually hurt in the NFL, (laughs) and he was. I I never loved him in college. He always disappointed me in college. And I said I just don't want any part of him in pro football. And the St. Louis Rams took him number one overall and and gave him $50 guaranteed dollars. And guess what? And he's been hurt. He's been underachieving. And he folds like a banquet chair at the end of the night, Jay. Okay. He's scary. <laughs> okay. All right. So, horrible. just that's for the record. So, once again, this is back to back years. I'm saying I would take this Oklahoma quarterback number one overall, and I get you. It was just one year body of work. He's I, games to take 
What's that? You started three games at Texas a Why they let him go? I, why it didn't work he there? Wanted I out. don't know. Right. I don't know. Okay. It still baffles me right. why they didn't manage to hang on to him. Mm-hmm. Right. But I saw enough last year. I saw enough against Alabama in the national semifinal, and I kept telling you the biggest issue facing Oklahoma going into the national semifinal is the best receiver who's going to go somewhere in the middle of the first round, Hollywood Brown, yes. yeah. is hurt and hurt bad. Was hurt. Didn't I say that? Yeah. Was hurt. And he needed Liz Frank surgery, and to his credit, he went out there and hobbled on that foot in that yeah. game. As long as he could. Okay, he hobbled. Right. He tried. Yeah. I, I give him high marks I, for the guts. So yeah. He just went out there, and at least he decoyed it for a while, right? Yeah. As best he could. Right. So you're you're one arm tied behind your back. You're up against an Alabama with one of the top defenses, and you got one of the worst defenses in college football. And they the Alabama's gonna have two of the top running, the two top running backs go in the first round right. of the draft. They might have Maybe. Jacobs who didn't start that's what I'm going saying. to first, be a first rounder. That's what I'm saying. They're both gonna Damian Harris is gonna right. go high. Right. They'll be up there somewhere. Right. One, two. So my point is this. If you were thinking outside the box enough in Arizona to go get Cliff Kingsbury, and I can't defend it because it just doesn't work, right? It it makes no sense. But at least you'd be thinking inside the outside box if then you went ahead and took Kyler Murray number one overall because he was born to play for Cliff Kingsbury. Yeah, right. all that's fine and good, thinking outside the box. But you think too big outside the box, guess what? You'd be thinking outside the building. Okay. You better be fine. Well, it might be. I'm just telling you that would be a home run for both Cliff Kingsbury and Kyler Murray, number one overall to Arizona. And again, what do you do with Josh Rosen? I don't know and I don't care. I said before the draft, I don't love him. Right. And I, from what I saw last year, I love him less and less. I don't think yeah. you can win. I don't think Cliff Kingsbury can win with Josh Rosen. I know he said the other day, what was it, Josh a couple of weeks guy. ago, he said he's our guy. Sure. You got to say that. Right. Sure, I does. get it. I get it. Well, then how good a coach is Cliff Kingsbury? He's a really good offensive he football He got a guy that had the MVP. Now, and Andy Reid took that same guy that he had. Got 50 touchdowns out of him and he got did. to the AFC Championship game. Okay. Cliff Kingsbury got to what? Well, how good, a co- how good a coach is he, Skip? I don't know, but he'd be a lot better with Kyler Murray because that's what Kyler Murray does is what Cliff coaches, right? Okay. So I'm, I'm going there, and if it's not there, then John Gruden should take him at four. And if not there, I know the Giants have sort of penciled in Dwayne Haskins. I'm taking Kyler Murray over Dwayne Haskins. I just am. He's just a little more electric. And then Lincoln Dwayne's Riley. a really good player. Don't you have to question Lincoln Riley? He's got he, two Heisman Trophy winners and you can't win a national championship? Well, okay. Well, that was yeah. the deep hook. Yeah. I mean, oh, they, they, like they had no chance against Alabama. Well, we, I, I, you yeah. knew that. Huh? You knew that. I mean, Georgia went double overtime. It was close. Who? You know, it wasn't a route, who? right? Against who? Alabama? No. I mean, against uh, uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Georgia. Oh, yeah. We, 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 we let y'all. We spot y'all. Oh, really? Spot Bulldog him. spot You're, you're now a wee Georgia? I, I, am I, from, am I, I not right. from Georgia? Okay. Are you from Alabama? <laughs> close. Close. Like, oh, you're close. I'm from the Georgia-Alabama oh, line. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> so I'm going to go so far as to say that I have seen enough of Kyler okay. at a high enough level that right now I'm a little more sold on Kyler than I am on Zion in college basketball. What? because Well, I haven't seen enough of Zion. Have I seen him against, you know, at Carolina? Have I seen him in the ACC tournament? I have not. Have I seen him in the Final Four? I have not. Will I get to? We don't know. The one real competition that you saw against Kyler Murray, have Mm -hmm. you saw enough? Alabama. Mm -hmm. Alabama. Did he not light up Bama? Uh, After we got up 28-0. Without Hollywood Brown, did he not light them up? After we got up 28-0, we felt sorry for him. They about to cut the TV click. They about to cut it off. And then Coach Saban said, let them score. Mm. So Lincoln Riley last week went all the way to comparing him to Barry, Kyler Murray, to Barry Sanders. What did I tell you all year? I, I used the term. I said, I have not seen feet this quick since Barry Sanders. And to me, they might be even a little quicker feet than Barry Sanders. Not escapability, yeah. not the acrobatic moves. He might, he might time faster than Barry. Yeah, I mean. He just might. And, he and I don't know if he's going to run the 40 or not. On no, well, I know he ain't going to time Saturday. faster than Michael Vick. Ain't nobody touching that 4-3-3 that Big ran in the combat. That ain't happening. I don't know because Lincoln Riley made a big statement. He said as yeah. soon as he steps on the football field in the NFL, he will be the fastest quarterback. And he even went to by far. That's like, that's like saying that when he steps in, like Zion Williams, when he steps in the NBA, he'll be the guy that can bench press the most. What speed? Look at all them slow quarterbacks in there. Which quarterback is in the Hall of Fame ran sub 4-6? Well, Maybe Steve Young. All the rest of Peyton Manning. Look at Tom Brady around a six flat. 
Okay, so speed well, you, has you nothing to do. You said he won't be as fast as Michael Vick, and I no, think he might no, no, be. Because no, right I think Lamar Jackson's faster than Michael Vick, because Michael you. said that. Yeah, yeah I, I, not in the 40s, right Skip. Huh? Skip, I mean, you, you, you had not, not in the 40, not just flat, straight line speed. Michael Vick could accelerate. Now, this kid got acceleration like Vick. Because Vick was, was Vick a couple of steps. That was unbelievable. I'm just going eye test off television, and it is lightning. I don't believe he run 4-3. He got to have to run 4-3-3 to beat Vic Stein. You believe he can run 4-3-3? Skip I think Lincoln movie. Riley thinks that. And Kyler was asked, have you ever timed? And he said it's like three years ago. And he said 4-3. I think he, think he said 4-3 flat. Yeah, he, sa- he yeah, said right. it's been a bit, but he well, said he's he done three. it. No, I, I believe when I see it. Okay, well, you just might see it in a few days. It don't matter. I don't care. Yeah. Tom Brady ain't never run a, Tom Brady can't run a 4 3 40. Use it 30. As an ex- That's my use p- that. my point is speed has nothing to do with playing it, the quarterback. It can have a whole lot to do if that's part of your repertoire, right? What Tom, Tom Brady just throw it. Peyton Manning just throw it. Okay, that's fine, but you can skin that cat a lot of different nah, ways. I don't want no-